please click like and subscribe and that little notification bell for the next episode. I'll tell you a story about my grandfather, father, if you'd like to hear that. Sure. He lived in the old Stanton School, still there, the building is, one mile west mm -hmm. on, the, on the South Service Road in here. 66 was right in front of his house. And uh, of course he'd drive Stanton every day or two, you know. Yeah. When they put in run the, started to run the new lanes over there, which was still 66, but it was uh, going to be 44. You know, they run that through, well then they went and made this one, the old highway eastbound and the new highway westbound. Uh -huh. And so he had to drive Stanton and he had to drive back to get over there and he had to go about a half a mile past his house, cross over to come back to his house. Oh my goodness. Now, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> it was a mile out of his way and that was, that was just, uh, that was not no logic to it. So he kept driving, he'd drive the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and the state patrol caught him, you know, and he yeah. got on him real bad, you know, and, and finally uh, he says, you can't go that way, you know, so then he backed all his stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he backed the stand. He ended up driving all that mile out of the way, you know. Oh, my God. And finally, you know, they threatened him with, his, with a, $25 ticket, this was quite a while back, you know, and, yeah. and oh, he, he was tight, so he didn't want to pay that. I think 50 or 51, he started riding back and forth to St. Louis. The road to St. Louis is just like, just like that, going down there. Cars going and coming, if you move, make one bad move, it's too bad. A lot of that 66 was a three-lane highway. Yeah, oh boy, that's dangerous. Had the uh, passing lane, and, and you'd have a traffic this way and that way, and the passing lane's in the middle. Called the suicide lane. The suicide lane, oh, yeah. That was down there around there. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Never. Down there, down there, we were riding along, coming home from work. One guy was ahead of us, one on the other side. Both of them head on. <laughs> Bang, right there in front of us. Okay, when it's Stanton, don't forget to go up to see the Merrimack Caves. Yeah, the caves were cool because they had, didn't they have that separate, like, bedroom, a thing you could go in? No, that's yes. the no. Merrimack Caves. It's different from Stanton. No. Oh. We headed on down to Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, and but a little bit past Cuba, we went first, believe it or not, and was spanning to... The world's largest rocking chair. That's you right. gotta go see that. Uh, it, it was amazing. I wanted one for my yard. Don't have that big of a yard, but that's beside the point. And it's the Fanning Outpost that owns it. Yep. And a couple great kids that a own it. A couple great Dan people. And, uh, and Dan Carolyn. Dan Carolyn. And they did this large rocker so that you come and visit them. Yes. We're in front front of the largest rocking chair in the world. They got the Guinness World Book record for this uh, with Danny and Carolyn. Uh, we opened the store in 2008, and uh, we want to get the Route 66 travelers, of course, the people that are going across the country, because uh, uh, talking to a lot of travelers, they want to go through the middle of the United States. They don't really want to go to the coast so, uh, because they see other Europeans. <laughs> So we we get them through here and then uh, we get them to stop. They have a pretty good time. We got lots of souvenirs and it's got something to do with Route 66. We probably have it here. This is our uh, we call it the poop section. It's uh, we have a special shit which is a really good seasoning and good shit. And you can get your shit together by getting three of them all at once, or you can get the whole shit in caboodle, which is the pack of all the hot shit and the barbecue shit and everything together. <laughs> This is our Route 66 Red, Missouri Red. Mm -hmm. This is our Dry Mother Road Red, and it's bottled at the same vineyard, just eight miles west of here. Uh, this is our Archery Range and Shop. Yeah, we got some wine. They were okay. so gracious to give us some, and uh, and we're going to enjoy that. We'll be very happy tonight. Okay. And so I want to say thank you to oh, all. Oh, thank you very much. Yep. yep. Thank you, Vincent. Okay. Holly. You know, after we left uh, Fanning. We it's really on uh, south of Cuba, which is really considered Cuba. Right. We went and looked at the world's biggest shoe. Yeah. That's right, the Hey Shoe <laughs> store yeah. there. You'll yeah. see 
The shoes are as big as a boat. Huge shoes. See, and people, men had a man. It was made for the biggest foot guy in, in the world in at the, the time. World. Then it was really interesting. We also went to an old Victorian home. Well, it's an old had, house, yeah, right? And yeah. she gave us a little tour of it. Tour of it. And this is the Wallace house.